Good morning. I'm reading from Acts 24 this morning. Paul's been arrested in Jerusalem, and he's been transported to Caesarea. There, he is going to have to uh, answer, and he's brought into court, and Ananias brings this orator, um, uh, a, a prosecuting attorney, with him, and they bring these charges against Paul. Verse 10 says, Then Paul, after the governor had beckoned unto him to speak, answered, For as much as I know that thou hast been of many years a judge unto this nation, I do the more cheerfully answer for myself, because that thou mayest understand that there are yet but twelve days since I went up to Jerusalem for to worship. And they neither found me in the temple disputing with any man, neither raising up the people, neither in the synagogues nor in the city. Neither can they prove the things whereof they now accuse me. So Paul's going to answer for himself, and he says they're bringing false accusations against him. He says, and they have no proof for any of these things. But the next part is really interesting. He says, but this I confess unto thee, that after the way which they call heresy, so worship I the God of my fathers, believing all things which are written in the law and in the prophets, and have hope toward God, which they themselves also allow, that there shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. The Apostle Paul was suffering at the hands of the Jewish leaders because, not because of insurrection, not because of leading a rebellion, not because of trying to destroy the temple or, or any of the, the false accusations that they bring against him, but they hated him because he was preaching Christ. And <clears throat> he said, I confess to you that after the way which they call heresy, so worship I the God of my fathers. They called the Christians heretics. And they wanted Paul dead because he was preaching Christ. And it's fascinating to me the way in which they've gone about it. Because if you look around our world today, you see this all the time. One group doesn't like the other group, but they don't really have a good reason to not like them. They just disagree with each other. So they go trump up some charges, try to figure out some, some kind of, of, of way to accuse them, and they use deceit and deception because the truth, well, the truth isn't, isn't going to have somebody put to death or, or whatever. But if they can falsely accuse them of these things, and you know what? Many, many times the people that are falsely accusing others of these things are actually guilty of the things that they're doing themselves. And so that's what they're trying to do to Paul. They're trying to railroad Paul. Paul recognizes it, and he just stands up and he says, look, I didn't do any of these things and they can't prove them. But I will confess this to you, that after the way which they call heresy, so worship by the God of my fathers. You see, that was the great divide between the religious leaders of the day and the followers of Jesus. The followers of Jesus recognized that the Old Testament taught the coming of Jesus. And when he showed up, they said, hey, there he is, and they... They believed in him, they attached themselves to him by faith, and they continued on. Paul says, I believe all things that are written in the law and the prophets. He said, I believe the Bible, every word of it. I believe Jesus to be the fulfillment of all of those things. And he goes on to talk about the resurrection of the dead, something that these men believed in as well. And he says, they themselves allow that there should be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and the unjust. Then Paul sums it up like this, verse 16. And herein do I exercise myself to have always a conscience void of offense toward God and toward men. Now that's the way we ought to live our lives. We ought to live our lives that, that we believe everything the Bible says, that we worship God after the way that unbelievers call heresy, and that we always keep a conscience that's, that's clear from offense to God and to men. That is, that is a, a summation of the Christian life. Now that part about uh, what unbelievers call heresy. Hey, listen, you're either with Jesus or you're not. The most religious people on the planet that don't believe in Jesus, they, they're, they're going to call the worship of Jesus heresy. They're going to say it's not legitimate and they don't believe it. So you and I, we need to realize that we're going to wind up sometimes in the same place that Paul is. But it's okay, because the world hated Jesus. It's going to hate his followers as well. And uh, we'll, we'll, let's always live our lives in such a way that we worship God uh, by following Jesus Christ and having a conscience that's void 
of offense to God and men. God bless. Have a great day.